What are the top 10 strategies for improving your hormonal health? Let's talk about it. Your hormonal health includes all your hormones, your sex hormones, your thyroid hormone, your adrenal hormones, your pituitary hormones, and your pancreatic hormones. Here's my top 10 strategies to improve your hormonal health. Number one, support your hypothalamus nutraceutically. It is extremely difficult to get everything you need micronutrient-wise for your hypothalamus to function optimally. Fortunately, your hypothalamus is incredibly sensitive to micronutrients as it's not protected by the blood-brain barrier. It needs adequate amount of essential and conditionally essential amino acids, polyunsaturated fatty acids, especially omega-3s and 9s, and lots of phytonutrients like polyphenols, coenzymes, naturally occurring plant-based minerals and vitamins in order to function optimally. That's why I created Genesis Gold. Genesis Gold is a complete nutraceutical hypothalamic supplement to optimize its function so your hormones stay in balance. Number two, eat healthy fats. Healthy fats include polyunsaturated fatty acids, omega-3s and 9s, monounsaturated fats, which include olive oil and avocado oil. Omega-3s are found in nuts, flax, and fish. These healthy fats help to reduce hypothalamic inflammation and improve hormonal health. You want to limit trans fatty acids and excessive amount of saturated fat. Number three, limit starchy, sugary carbs. Sugar is not your friend when it comes to hormonal health. Consume complex carbohydrates that include vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. Number four, eat a variety of plants. Phytonutrients come from plants, colorful fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes. These micronutrient powerhouses help your hypothalamus function normally, which helps to keep your hormones healthy. Number five, move your body. If you are sedentary, your hormones will not be healthy and you'll have more inflammation. Exercise, including aerobic and weight resistance, helps to make your fat fit and keep your hypothalamus inflammation down, which helps to balance your hormones. Number six, adopt healthy sleep habits. If you're not getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep at night, your hormones will not be in good balance. All hormones have natural circadian rhythms that are controlled by your hypothalamus. So sleep in the dark. Make sure you turn off blue light emitting screens after dusk. Develop good sleep hygiene habits. Your hypothalamus is very responsive to you getting yourself ready for bed. Number seven, practice stress reduction techniques. Life is stressful, but you need to learn how to reduce your stress response. If you can't control the outer influence, you can control your inner response. Practicing deep breathing exercises, yoga, meditation, mindfulness can all help in reducing your stress response. And chronically overactivated stress response can cause hypothalamic dysfunction, which will seriously imbalance your hormones. Number eight, avoid endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptors imbalance hormones by taking up hormone receptor sites and impacting hormone metabolism. Environmental endocrine disruptors like BPA from plastics, certain pesticides, and medication are inhaled or ingested. One of the good things about supporting your hypothalamus nutraceutically with Genesis Gold is that if you are exposed to endocrine disruptors, your body is able to detox them more easily. Number nine, hug others. For optimal hormonal and physical health, strive for at least 12 hugs a day. Sharing ferrums increases oxytocin to keep your hormones in better balance. Hugs that last 20 seconds or more are most effective. Number 10, honor your natural cycles. Your hormones are not just circadian, they're cyclical. If you're a woman, they follow the moon cycles. Hormones follow the seasons, the temperature, the climate. So when the days get longer, you'll feel more active, maybe a little hungrier. When the days get shorter, it's time to rest, rejuvenate, and get a little more sleep. It's very important to honor your natural cycles because your hormones function at higher levels in the spring and summer and lower levels in the winter. Taxing your body 24 seven, 52 weeks a year can wreak havoc on your hormonal balance. If you would like more information about your hormonal health, please join us in our Hormone Reboot Training. I'll see you in the next video.